the Omni terminal will need a, two downloads to get it programmed with the prepaid service. It will need a VMAC download for as the base application and the prepaid service download. We can combine both downloads so that the merchant only requires one download. We will use a value of star MA for the application value of that parameter. An Omni terminal, when it's first received, will have a download needed and no star goal variable as the initial screen. We will need to enter into the system menu by pressing two F keys simultaneously to enter into that menu. We will use F2 and F4. Press them both. The terminal will prompt system mode entry password. The system password by default is one, the alpha key, the alpha key again, six, six, eight, three, and one. The terminal will not display the characters. Press enter when you're finished. You are now in the system mode menu. We will need to scroll down to system mode menu three to edit the parameters. Using the purple key, designated by the arrow key down, press it twice to enter into system mode menu three. We will need to select the F3 key to edit the parameters. Because we are downloading both applications at once, we will need to download into group one, which is the base group. Press enter to continue. The terminal will prompt you for the group password, which is the same as the system menu password. One, the alpha key twice, six, six, eight, three, one. Press enter to continue. We are now inside the group one parameter list. The first option is file config sys. Press enter to continue. Because there are no parameters within this group, we will need to enter five different keys and values to continue with the process. The first parameter is star Z A. To get the asterisk key, press this asterisk right above the red button. You will see the asterisk appear on the screen. The next key is a Z. To get the Z, press the number one followed by the alpha key twice to get it to print to print out a Z character. At this point we need the A for application. Press the number two and the alpha key to get an A character. Press enter to continue. You will now be prompted to enter a value for star ZA. The value for both downloads which again is VMAC and our prepaid application version D40 eight is star MA. So enter the asterisk key followed by the number six and the alpha key to change that to a M character. Now we need an alpha character of A. So press number two followed by the alpha key to change it to an A. So now the value is star MA. Press enter to continue. The terminal will show you the entries that you have just made. Press enter to continue. You are ready to enter the second parameter. The parameter is star ZT, which means or terminal ID. Press the asterisk key, the number one, followed by the alpha key two times to get the letter Z. Press the key number eight to enter a T character. Press the alpha key once to continue. Star ZT will appear on the display. Press enter to enter its value. The value of star ZT is a terminal ID. This is a seven digit site ID. If you do not have your site ID, you can call customer support at 1-800-650-8787 and request your site ID. Enter your site ID. Press enter to continue when you are done. The terminal will return you to the top of the list of parameters. Press enter to scroll to the different parameters entered and enter one more time to enter a different parameter key. We are now entering the phone number. The parameter is star ZP. Enter the asterisk key. Press the number one and the alpha key two times to get the Z character. Press the number seven and the alpha key once to get a character of P. Press enter to continue. The value for star ZP is the VeriCenter download phone number. If you do not know the download number, please contact customer service at 800-650-8787. Enter your phone number. Confirm the phone number and press enter to continue. 
you will now again be brought to the top of the list. Press enter twice to continue. Confirming all parameters and their values are appearing. Press enter to get the last keys. We will now enter two more keys to get the communication started. Press star, the letter Z, or the number one, the alpha key to get the character of Z. Number seven for an R, press alpha key twice. Now we need an E. Press the number three to get an, and the alpha key twice to get the E. Press the number seven and enter the alpha key until you get the S. Press the number seven again and this time select get a character of P. Press the alpha key to get the P. Star Z resp. Press enter. The value for star Z resp is 16. This value tells the modem how fast to go. Press 1, 6 for the value of 16. Press enter to continue. Once again we will be brought to the top of the list. Press enter until we see the key value. We need one more key. Star ZR. Press the asterisk key. Press the number 1. The alpha key twice to see the Z. The number 7. Press the alpha key twice to get the character of R. Star ZR. Press enter. The star ZR value is 6. Press the number 6 and enter. Scroll through the pr different parameters so that you can confirm its values so that you do not make a mistake. Star ZT is your site ID. Star ZP is a phone number to download from. Star ZRESP is the speed of the modem. And Star ZR also tells the modem how quickly to communicate. Press enter. You are now done entering all the parameters. Press the red X button to exit the system mode edit. From the system mode menu 3, scroll up by pressing the purple button right below the up arrow icon. Press F2 for download. The terminal will display system mode file and file group 1. We did enter every parameter in group 1, so we will continue to use group 1 to download the terminal. Press enter to continue. We will be doing a full download. We'll download all the application parameters as well as the prepaid software. A partial download is only when you already have a, an application and you only wish to change some of the parameters of the software. Press F3 for full. We'll be downloading this via modem. Select F2 for, phone, for modem. The terminal will display downloading now. Dial out. Once the terminal connects to the download center, you will see dashes right below system mode download. These dashes will then turn into asterisk as they progress in the download. The download will take approximately 15 minutes to complete. The download will conclude by displaying download successful. From the initial screen on an Omni terminal, enter your clerk ID. If you do not have a clerk ID assigned, enter 1234 as a default. Press enter. You are now in the prepaid software menu. We will need to do a product update to get the products list onto the terminal. Press number 6 for admin. In the admin menu, select number 5, download product. The terminal will connect to the host and download the terminal product list. This will include all the products that can be sold from this particular site. Once the menu has been retrieved, you will see a receipt printed with the approved menu retrieved successfully message on the receipt. The menu will then return to its default screen, which is enter clerk ID, and you are ready to do another transaction.